This is the SPM listening test. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. You will hear people talking in seven different situations. For questions one to seven, choose the correct answer A, B, or C. You will hear each recording twice. Answer all the questions. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions. Look at question 1. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You hear a woman talking about her depression experience. Last month, I had very serious depression. I couldn't sleep or eat well. I also like to be alone in my room. I didn't talk to anyone about it because I was too shy and afraid. My mother was worried about me, so she decided to take me to see a doctor. The doctor gave me some medicines to help me with the symptoms, but I think I am now feeling a lot better thanks to my family's interference. My friends were there too during my troubled periods, but I do feel that our family is our backbone in life. Now I'm free from depression and can live a happy life again. Now, listen again. You hear a woman talking about her depression experience. Last month, I had very serious depression. I couldn't sleep or eat well. I also like to be alone in my room. I didn't talk to anyone about it because I was too shy and afraid. My mother was worried about me, so she decided to take me to see a doctor. The doctor gave me some medicines to help me with the symptoms, but I think I am now feeling a lot better thanks to my family's interference. My friends were there too during my troubled periods, but I do feel that our family is our backbone in life. Now I'm free from depression and can live a happy life again. Look at question 2. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a man talking about his dining experience. I had the worst experience at a restaurant. It happened two days when my wife and I visited a well-known restaurant near my neighborhood. First of all, it took forever to get our food. When it finally came out, it was cold and undercooked. It was frustrating and I called one of the waiters there to complain. I told him that the food was cold and he just shrugged it off and said they would heat it up for me. And then he never came back to check on us or offer a replacement. I then demanded to see the manager on duty, but unfortunately, she just offered a half-hearted apology and didn't even offer to compensate our meal. It was an unacceptable act and definitely not worth the treatment we have received. I'm certainly not coming back to that restaurant in the future. Now, listen again. You will hear a man talking about his dining experience. I had the worst experience at a restaurant. It happened two days when my wife and I visited a well-known restaurant near my neighborhood. First of all, it took forever to get our food. 
When it finally came out, it was cold and undercooked. It was frustrating and I called one of the waiters there to complain. I told him that the food was cold and he just shrugged it off and said they would heat it up for me. And then he never came back to check on us or offer a replacement. I then demanded to see the manager on duty, but unfortunately, she just offered a half-hearted apology and didn't even offer to compensate our meal. It was an unacceptable act and definitely not worth the treatment we have received. I'm certainly not coming back to that restaurant in the future. Look at question 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a conversation about a hospital visit. Where did you come from, Anita? Oh, Harris. I just came back from the hospital to visit my sick grandma. She's been there since July 13th. So, I decided to spend some time with her. Sorry to hear that. When will she be discharged from the hospital? Yesterday, the doctor in charge told my father that my grandma would be discharged within five days, but just now the head nurse told me that they might let her home on the 15th. Now, listen again. You will hear a conversation about a hospital visit. Where did you come from, Anita? Oh, Harris. I just came back from the hospital to visit my sick grandma. She's been there since July 13th. So, I decided to spend some time with her. Sorry to hear that. When will she be discharged from the hospital? Yesterday, the doctor in charge told my father that my grandma would be discharged within five days, but just now the head nurse told me that they might let her home on the 15th. Look at question 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a conversation at a bookshop. Hi and welcome to Cheng's bookshop. May I help you, miss? I'm looking for some erasers and pens. Sure, we do have them here. What type of ink color do you want for the pen, miss? Blue and red, please. Very well. By the way, miss, now we're having a special offer for our customers. A set of blue, red and black ink pens and a notebook will only cost you five ringgit. Hmm, but I don't need all three. How much for each pen? It's two ringgit each, miss. I think it's cheaper if you buy the promotional set. Very well then. I'll take it. Thank you. Now, listen again. You will hear a conversation at a bookshop. Hi and welcome to Cheng's bookshop. May I help you, miss? I'm looking for some erasers and pens. Sure, we do have them here. What type of ink color do you want for the pen, miss? Blue and red, please. Very well. By the way, miss, now we're having a special offer for our customers. A set of blue, red and black ink pens and a notebook will only cost you five ringgit. Hmm, but I don't need all three. How much for each pen? It's two ringgit each, miss. I think it's cheaper if you buy the promotional set. Very well then. I'll take it. Thank you. Look at question 5. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a boy talking about school prefects. Many of my schoolmates have been asking me how to be a good school prefect. 
Well, to me, a good school prefect should at least be a responsible, reliable, and helpful person. I know it's not a must to have all those traits, but they can try to be positive most of the time. I also believe a prefect should prevent any fights. They shouldn't provoke conflicts unnecessarily or use their position of power to bully or threaten other students. Now, listen again. You will hear a boy talking about school prefects. Many of my schoolmates have been asking me how to be a good school prefect. Well, to me, a good school prefect should at least be a responsible, reliable, and helpful person. I know it's not a must to have all those traits, but they can try to be positive most of the time. I also believe a prefect should prevent any fights. They shouldn't provoke conflicts unnecessarily or use their position of power to bully or threaten other students. Look at question 6. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a conversation about planning school holiday activities. Have you made any plans for the upcoming school holidays? I have a few activities on my mind, but I'm not sure which one to choose. Well, tell me more about it. I'm interested to join a two-day hiking trip, which sounds tough but you know how I love adventurous activities. Another activity is a day as a volunteer at a local orphanage. I could lend my hand helping the unfortunate children there. Have you heard about the computer boot camp? It sounds interesting too. That's cool. I'll let you know once I have made up my mind. Now, listen again. You will hear a conversation about planning school holiday activities. Have you made any plans for the upcoming school holidays? I have a few activities on my mind, but I'm not sure which one to choose. Well, tell me more about it. I'm interested to join a two-day hiking trip, which sounds tough but you know how I love adventurous activities. Another activity is a day as a volunteer at a local orphanage. I could lend my hand helping the unfortunate children there. Have you heard about the computer boot camp? It sounds interesting too. That's cool. I'll let you know once I have made up my mind. Look at question 7. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear a conversation about examinations. I've always had trouble with examinations. I am so stressed and concerned. Do you have any tips? Of course. Have you tried creating a study schedule and following it? Yeah, I've tried that, but I'm still having issues recalling information during tests. Well, have you tried a study group? No, I haven't. Do you think that would be helpful? I think it might. You should also take care of yourself, both physically and mentally. Don't be too stressed out. I will. Thanks. Now, listen again. You will hear a conversation about examinations. I've always had trouble with examinations. I am so stressed and concerned. Do you have any tips? Of course. Have you tried creating a study schedule and following it? Yeah, I've tried that, but I'm still having issues recalling information during tests. Well, have you tried a study group? No, I haven't. Do you think that would be helpful? I think it might. You should also take care of yourself, both physically and mentally. Don't be too stressed out. I will. Thanks. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two.